with another video. So today I wanted to do another story time type of video, but hold on, hold on. I got something for you guys. Come on. <laughs> hey, I wanted to show you guys my microphone I got. Um, Hold on, can we take a second to look at this? Okay, oh, oh all gold with a glee. Shout out to Kodak. Okay, and it matches my background, like, all right. All right, guys, but today I'm going to be doing a story time video. I'm going to be telling you guys all about the tattoos that I have. And yes, I do have tattoos. I'm going to be telling you guys if I regret any tattoos, advice that I have for people getting tattoos in the future, and what my tattoos mean to me. So let's get this video started. But I also did want to tell you guys, because I had a few people question it, I'm going to be referring to all of my subscribers as the Vanamob. So if you're new to my channel or you've already been subscribed, you are a part of the Vanamob. So shout out to you. I love you. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the views. All that. So how did the Vanamob start? Well, if you didn't know by now, I'm Savannah. If you didn't know by now, like... I'm just going to need you to get it together because you clicked on my page, so you see that it says my name. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. But yes, I am Savannah, so my friends call me Vanna, and a few years ago, my friend was like, hey, Vanna Mob, and it stuck. So I decided I'm going to be calling all of you guys Vanna Mob. So welcome to the Vanna Mob. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? The Vanna Mob is cool. That's where it's at. Subscribe, like, comment, all that. You already know what to do. But let's get this video started. All right, guys. Well, let's start off with the story of how I got my first tattoo. Well, your girl was 18 years old. And I got my tattoo, I want to say, a few days after I turned 18. I was trying to waste no time. I wanted to do everything and anything that I could as an 18-year-old. But I ended up getting tattooed, getting tatted at my friend's house. He was a tattoo artist and he worked out of his house. So I guess it didn't even really make sense for me to wait because I ended up getting tatted at someone's house. But, you know, that's the logic of an 18-year-old. <laughs> but yeah, his name was Inky. Funny, right? Inky tattoo artist. Ha ha ha. Yeah, his name was Inky and I'm with my friends and my friends I got tatted too. And yeah. Um, my first tattoo really didn't hurt that bad. I was expecting it to hurt a lot worse, but I actually liked the feeling of getting a tattoo. So I wanted to get my last name, which is Loera. Um, growing up, we had this sign in our house and it said Loera family established 1997. And 1997 was the year I was born, you know, the year that my family came together. And I just always really loved that sign. So I wanted it to be tatted somewhere on my body. So I decided to get it tatted on my right hand shoulder right here. So I'm going to show you guys. So this tattoo right here, it says Loera family established 1997. That was my first tattoo. I don't remember exactly how much it cost. I want to say it cost like 60 bucks. And yeah, no regrets on that one. My next hack two was not even a week, two, no, it was a week later. It wasn't even two weeks later. I was itching for a tack two so bad. I just wanted to get tatted like right away. So I hit Inky up, was like, hey, I'm trying to get tatted again, where you at? So I went back to his house and I, and I ended up getting um, an infinity sign with my sister and my mom's name on it. And that's the tack two that I put in the middle my back right here yeah so I have my mom and my sister's name that tattoo didn't hurt that bad either it did hurt a little bit when he started to get up here like closer to the bottom of my neck and yeah I don't regret that tattoo either um, I'm really happy that I got my mom and my sister's name somewhere on me because no matter what it's me and my sister and my mom forever I hadn't even told my mom that I was going to get her name tatted though. 
and at this point I had moved out of the house so I was just you know doing whatever I wanted to so I had texted my mom after I got the tattoo and I was like oh I did something I want to show you don't get mad and she was like Savannah what did you do you know just being a mom and I had just sent her the picture of my tattoos and at first you know she was mad you know every parent when their child does something that they're unaware of you know that's their initial reaction but later on you know she got used to my tattoos and you know she told me don't get no more don't get no more but you know your girl has seven now whatever right <laughs> she wasn't gonna make me erase it like come on mom i got your name tied i love you but yeah so my next tattoo hold on one two what is my next tattoo I think I got, oh, I waited a minute after that. I didn't get tattooed for a minute. Oh, was that? Okay, so my next tattoo was on this shoulder because I wanted, I like, my initial plan was to get the top of my back tattooed. That's all that I wanted. So my next tattoo that I got was a lotus flower on my left shoulder. Now this tattoo, I was supposed to get matching with my mom. Like my mom's the one that came up with the design and everything. But then she ended up flaking on me and didn't want the tattoo anymore. But I still wanted the tattoo because I love what a lotus flower represents. Mm -hmm. So for those, for those of you who don't know, a lotus flower grows in a swamp. So it's a, basically a flower that grows from the mud and then it blossoms into to this beautiful flower so I just really like the meaning of that so I got that place on my left shoulder so I'm gonna show you guys right here this lotus flower and I had got that tattoo from my friend's uncle in Oakland comment if you got tatted by RD if you from Oakland you should know who RD is Heck, people got tatted by him. But yeah, so I got that one by RD. And that one didn't really hurt. And that was my first color tech too. So I was really happy to throw some color into my back. So after that, I had wanted to get um, a Sagittarius sign. So now we're on my fourth tech too. So I wasn't really sure where to place it. At this point, I still wanted my back tatted. So I decided I was going to put it underneath all of those tattoos in the middle of my back now this tattoo did hurt because it was on my spine and it was dark so he had to shade it so this one i did feel some pain but your girl thanked it out no problem and this one i got tatted by rd as well so this tattoo is right here and it's a sagittarius sign now i chose to put the s um like a regular S in the Sagittarius sign. The regular Sagittarius sign, the S is flipped, but I wanted to do like my own take on it because I felt like the S um, was like an S for Savannah and it kind of looked like a money sign because you know, your girl be in her bag. But yeah, so that was my one, two, three. Yeah, that was my fourth tag too. So after that, I didn't get tatted um, for a while and I was really mad at myself because when I initially got my tattoos, I thought about the placement, but I didn't think about it as much as I should have. So my advice to anybody getting a tattoo in the future or if you're waiting to get your first tattoo, placement, placement, placement. You need to think about where you're going to place that tattoo like very thoroughly. If I was to get my tattoos again, I would have got this um, tattoo on my shoulder, my first tattoo, pushed all the way over on my back as like clo as closest to my shoulder as I could have. Because once I got those three tattoos on my back, I had a weird gap and I needed to think of something to, come in, to um, make it come together. So for my fifth tattoo, I decided I was going to make all the pieces come together. So I went to my friend, Tattoo Panda. Um, for those of you guys who have seen all my videos, Tattoo Panda is the one who did my fake uh, face tattoo prank. If you haven't seen that video, go click on it after this video. Come on now, you're ready here. But yeah, I went to Tattoo Panda. He's from Oakland too. And yeah, so I wanted to connect all the pieces on my back. So I initially went in with a different tattoo idea, but then he w was honest with me and was like, girl, this don't go together. This don't match your tattoos. Like, no. 
So he helped me come up with the idea of getting the color from my lotus flower and running it all through my back, doing a type of watercolor type of tattoo. And I trusted him and I was like, you know what? Like, I'm tired of this weird gap to my back. I just want to make it come alive. I trust you. Let's do it. So he ran it all through my back. I want to say that tattoo took about an hour and 30 minutes. Now, this tattoo really didn't hurt um, that bad either. The only parts that hurt is like when I got to the top part of my shoulder because there's bone there. And when I got um, right here, like underneath my neck and yeah, on like the bottom of my shoulder blade, that hurt. So he ran the purple and turquoise, those are my lotus flower, and threw it all through my back. And just a side note, purple is your girl's favorite color, so it's all for it. So, yes, finally I connected all the pieces on my back, and this is how it looks. So, yeah, if you guys could see that, um, yeah, that's how I connected all the pieces on my back. So, that was my fourth tech, too. Wait, is it one, two, three, four? No, that was my fifth tattoo, fifth tattoo, so like. So that was my fifth tattoo. Um, and I had got that tattoo, I want to say I was 19. Yeah, so I had got that tattoo when I was 19 years old. Um, my sixth tattoo, I also got by Tattoo Panda. And I want to say, yeah, I think I was still 19. Yeah, I was still 19. So I got it on my side right here. Now I'm not gonna take off my shirt and show you guys. I'll put a picture right here. But I got it on like my rib cage right here. And that tattoo was also colored. I got OTF. If you don't know what OTF means, it represents only the family. And I got that tattoo in red. So I just wanted to get that tattoo because, you know, no matter what, um, you go through in life or what I go through in life my family is always there for me no matter what so I just really wanted to get something that was like family um, family oriented on my body somewhere and I wanted to get tighter on my side right here so that's what I put right there now after that I didn't get a tattoo for a while because you know if you're gonna get a tattoo you need to keep two things in mind good tattoos aren't cheap and cheap tattoos are not good you're gonna put something on your body forever you know i don't want to walk around and be like oh that girl have 40 dollars in her pocket you know all my tattoos were thought out and i spent money on you know and i really don't have any regrets about any of my tattoos but yeah just a side note so that was my sixth tattoo that I got on my side. My seventh and last tattoo that I have at the moment is on my thigh. So let me make this, can I make this camera go down a little bit? Um, can, uh, let me see, hold on. So yeah, this was my seventh tattoo that I got. And this is a Buddha and a Lotus flower. Um, I wanted it on my thigh. I'll put a picture so you guys can see it more thoroughly. But yes, that tattoo was by far the worst tattoo that I ever got pain wise. I had to go in two sessions. Now the first session that I did, I just got the outline and I really liked the outline for a while. But then I realized like, I can't be walking out here with lines on me like I gotta finish the tattoo so the first session took two hours just to do the outline and then the second session I waited a few months and finally finished it with the color and the second session took four hours your girl was out here struggling like I had to sit for four hours can you guys, can you guys see my leg hold on hold on I had to sit for four hours with my leg okay hold on i had to sit for four hours with literally my leg like this and like your girl was like all shaking and everything all in pain but you know i thugged it out and that is literally my favorite tattoo it's the most money that i spent on a tattoo as well that tattoo i cashed out five hundred dollars Sorry, mom. I know you're going to watch this video and you're going to yell at me. But yes, that's how much I paid for that tattoo. But it was definitely worth it because because that tattoo, I wanted to be very realistic. And I went to a different tattoo artist to do that too. I went to Silver and Hayward. Now, Silver, if you guys look her up, 
um, she's based out of Hayward and she's very popular and you have to book your tattoos with her. She doesn't just do walk-ins, you have to book an appointment. But yeah, that is my favorite tattoo. That one definitely hurt the most. You know, tattoos are gonna hurt less for where you guys have, for where you have more fat. So that tattoo just particularly hurt because it was a lot of shading, a lot of color, a lot of detail, and hurt a lot. Like when we we're getting up here, and because it was like on my hip and like closer on the side of my thigh, it really hurt. But you know, no regrets. That hurts to be cute but yes those are all my tattoos and am i planning on getting tattoos in the future at this point i don't know what i want to get tatted so i really don't want to get tatted anymore i told myself my buddha was my last tattoo but you know i got six other ones so i was probably lying to myself i eventually do want to get my wrist tatted i want to get something small enough that i could hide it with a watch if i needed to but like i said i don't necessarily know what i wanted to get tatted yet so your girl is waiting oh i don't even think i explained why i got my buddha tattoo hold on sorry so i got my buddha tattoo because so growing up, my dad always collected the Buddha because the Buddha is supposed to bring good fortune, good wealth, you know, and good luck. And he kept it around because he was a poker player. So he felt like, you know, it was just like good energy and good luck for his poker. But I just always loved the Buddha and believed in the Buddha and what it represented and what it brought into my house. So I wanted it to get tatted somewhere on my body. Originally, I wanted to get it on my calf, but I'm so happy that I didn't because it's such a big piece. It really needs to go on my thigh. But yeah, sorry for going off tangent. But that's why I got the Buddha tattoo. And all, all in all, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment what content you guys want to see more. Like I said, like, comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You're already here. So it's, you, you kind of have to, you know, come on. But yeah, until next time, Banner Mob. Thank you for all the views. Thank you for watching. You're appreciated. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. It'll be right after this video. Bye, guys.